Hey everybody, I'm Marie Bard Curtis of The Quilted Poodle. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a basting straight line in Pattern CAD. Please join me. Now I want you to see how super easy it is to create a straight line in Pattern CAD. From our opening screen, touch Pattern CAD. It will immediately take you into the Pattern CAD program. And what I like to do is first magnify the grid area. And I have turned on the grid. I want to magnify this area because it makes it so much easier to see what I'm doing. So the first thing you want to be sure is that your nodes is selected. And then you want to use Snap to Grids. Then we're going to go over here to the Pattern area and make sure the Draw button has been selected and we're also going to draw a straight line. And the other thing I like to do is where it says node spacing I'm going to tap right there where it has the number 4 and I'm going to change that to 50. That way there's a lot of space between my nodes and it's really really easy to draw a straight line. I'm going to hit OK. Then all you have to do is go to the corner of one of your boxes, touch and drag. Straight line, instantly. Um, there are no mistakes made in the line. You don't need to correct it. You just have two points which create a straight line. So you're done. So then what I'm going to do is save it. Another thing you want to realize is if I save, and I'm going to call it a horizontal line, if I save it and prefix that name, with an exclamation point, it will appear in front of all of the other alphabetized file names. So, I'll touch in the box, hit the shift key, hit the exclamation point, which is above the number one. Then I'm going to use space and type in horizontal line if I can spell it. Shift. H O C O space line horizontal line then hit the enter and it shows up down here and then hit save now horizontal line dot gpf already exists because I've made this before so do I want to overwrite it in my case I'm going to say yes and because you have never created or saved this line, it will immediately save it. Now I can close out of Pattern CAD. Exit out in the upper left. Do you want to save? No, because we've already saved it. Now what you're going to do is go into Panograph. You are now prompted to select your safe area. For my upper left, I'm going to move to an area to the left of my sewing area or my quilting area. I'm going to hit top left. Then I'm going to move it over to the bottom right. Again, I'm selecting an area just to the right of my quilting area. If I touch select pattern and I'm going to go to my continuous line folder I'm going to look for the first item and again because I have put an exclamation point in front of the word horizontal line it will appear alphabetically in front of everything else. So there's my horizontal line. Click on that. Open. Now you're not seeing anything in the Panto Stacker area. Don't be concerned it is there. Another thing you can do at this point is to measure the quilting area or how big you, how big, how wide, how long you want that basting stitch to be. So I'm going to go up here to my ruler. It immediately defaults to this pattern where you have a box on the left and a box on the right. So I'm going to choose the area that is right exactly at the left of my quilt. I will hit the left button. Then I'm going to go over to the right, exactly at the edge of my 
quilting area and choose this button. So notice it's that it appears to be a diagonal line that goes across two buttons, but what it's really doing is creating a straight line for you or measuring. So as you can see here, I have this point to this point, the left side of my quilt, the right side of my quilt, and it measures a width of 35.599. Now, if I were going to do a lot of quilting beyond that, I would go to the black sewing machine here and you know what it's going to do? It is going to find the midpoint of my measured area. So if I touch here, first it's going to ask me if my needle is up. Yes, it is. And it moves to the midpoint of that measured area. And that becomes important if you use the midpoint to select where to start your next row. I like that. And then I'm going to say, apply that measurement. So this 35.599 inches, I'm going to apply that measurement. So it will appear here under the total width. So that's the area that I want to stitch my basting line in. And the basting line is important to me because after I have loaded my backing, I'll draw that horizontal straight line and then I know where to place my batting so that it is even and straight. And then I will stitch another line, which allows me to know exactly where I want to place my quilt. And that line I know is straight. So we're going to go to place as a single pattern. And then I'm going to choose a one point selection because remember, I have already measured the area that I want to quilt in. So I just need one point to tell me where to start and it's going to draw a straight line. When I measured with the ruler, I chose the exact edge of my quilt on the left and then moved it over to the exact edge of my quilt on the right and it was 35.59 inches. So by choosing one point right here, I've chose one point stretch and my machine is where it should be. So I will touch the point there and it moves it, moves that line to the point that I have selected by using my machine head. And then all I have to do now is tell it to what? So I could pull the bobbin at this point, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to tell it to sew. There you go. And that's why I'm called the Quilted Poodle. That was one of the poodles barking. So as you can see, it stopped right at the edge of my quilt. I'm finished. Back to pattern placement if I wanted to do an additional line. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please join me. Join me, come along. Stay tuned. Come join me. Come along. Be with me. <laughs> abidi, abidi, abidi. That's all, folks.